bunch of five holers. Five hole. Well, I am I 80 eastbound. Eastbound down. Coming up on Nebraska. In Wyoming right now, eastbound. Here it comes. I can see it. Finally gonna get out in the flats. I'll Cheyenne. You get into the flats in Cheyenne, but you know. Fueled up, uh, what? I got loaded. God, where, where was I? Layton, when I did the little truck video. Since then, I shut up Nebraska. Howdy. Is Nebraska the good life? Well, we're going to find out today. Going to get out here, go across countryside that I've never been across. I've never been on this road before, ever. So, gonna see how Nebraska looks today because I've never been on I 80 in Nebraska before. So, uh. so the other night I was in Layton, finished up my drop in Layton at the Smith Distribution Center about 22 30 hours. Got out of there, did not have another load lined up. Boss man told me just hang tight till the AM when they find something. I'm all right. Now, in the past, They've sent me up to Idaho, like Burley or something like that, to go get my next load. So I opted, because really right there in uh, Layton, there's not a whole lot of parking around or anything like that. You can go to Ogden or back down Salt Lake City. I opted to head north up to Brigham City, because there's a uh, Maverick up there. But late at night, whenever I got in there, I could always find somewhere to park. So. I figured I'd just cut off. I PC'd up to Brigham City, which was like 30 miles away. And of course I passed by multiple, you know, Ogden and all that on the way to, I could see it from the freeway, like there's a Flying J and stuff. Nothing, places are all packed up. So I was like, yep. Went up to the uh, Maverick in uh, Brigham City, stayed there. Next morning, eight o'clock in the morning, I stayed up till about three talking to Selena. Went to bed, then my phone's ringing off the hook. By 8 a.m., there's the one chick that works at the office, calls me up, like, hey, did you see the load I sent you? And I'm like, no. <laughs> what is it now? Well, it was a load out of Salt Lake. And I'm like, oh, great. So now I got a dead head back down to Salt Lake. So, loaded at Americold in Salt Lake, and I'm going to Osceola, Iowa. Drop is tomorrow, open window. They open at 5 a.m. I'll probably go to York tonight, crash there. So I went over, my appointment was for 2300 last night. I showed up at like 11 a.m. And they're like, uh, your appointment's not till 2300 tonight, but they took my number and everything. They ended up calling me back about 1400 saying, hey, come back over. I went over to the Sap Brothers, hung out there, got something to eat. And just just got back out to the truck and they called me and said, hey, come on back over. I'm I got loaded right about 1,700 hours. I was over there about three hours getting loaded. Went to Rollins last night, got in there just after 2,200. So I'll call it a night. Got some sleep. Got going this morning. Here I am. Weather was nice. I mean, something's highly suspect, man. That Wyoming is almost hitting 50 degrees right now with clear roads, not a whole lot of snow, and the skies are clear. Just like this. What's going on? And now, 69 degrees out Nebraska it's still winter last time I checked 
no snow anywhere, what's going on? You're suspect. Something's coming down, man. It's kind of like all of a sudden the world's at war. And the subject that's been the subject for the past two years magically isn't a, a subject anymore. You're suspect. On to the next diversion or distraction. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Oh, just truck, man. Isn't it kind of funny, though? Past couple weeks, all of a sudden, nothing about the coof no more. I was like, huh. Well, isn't that peculiar? Oh, there's a war now. Oh, on to the next distraction. So, whatever. I'm just going to sit here and drive, try and make my money, and recede from society more and more as the day goes on, become more minimalistic, and just disappear into the ether. Rebirth of the gray man, you know? Because people, you know, always wanting to be in it, get all activated. It's like, no. Nah. Turn off the TV, stop watching the news. Just sit out here and drive truck. And if one day a mushroom cloud starts forming off over there, I go, oh, well, isn't that nice? Because ultimately, too, I mean, no matter how much you try to keep up on all this stuff going on every day in the world or whatever, what are you really going to do about it? Nothing. I'm just going to sit out here in the middle of Nebraska, drive a truck. So that's I'm doing my part. Just waiting for that mushroom cloud on the horizon. That's it. So good times, Nebraska. I gotta stop off. I still got stuff all over the floor. I gotta pick this stuff up some. Get everything sorted away in the truck. I got a spot for a microwave now. I gotta stop by a Walmart. I might wait till I just get home and do it because I, I want to measure it. Even though I know it's gonna fit a standard size, you know, 40 buck microwave from Walmart. But it has no bracing strap or anything, so I gotta figure a way to brace it in there so it's not falling out while I'm driving down the road. But I got a fridge that works. I want to get a microwave. I'm going to start eating keto. Go back on my old easy, ah, back in the days when I was bodybuilding and stuff, you know, years ago. But I did a lot of things like just eating chicken and broccoli, egg whites, you know, eggs, minimal carbohydrates. I really got to do it. I want to get back in some reasonable shape, reasonable health, instead of just being out here on the road, eating garbage. Besides the prices of everything have gone through the roof. You want to go to the mom and pop cafe and get you the standard breakfast or whatever. I mean, stuff's running like 15 bucks for a plate, 20 bucks for a plate, and then you gotta do a tip. And I don't like eating fast food, but even fast food, just to get a combo meal now with fries and a soda, you know, with a burger, I mean, it's like 12 bucks. Used to be, you know, seven bucks or something like that. It's just, you know, back, it's been 25 years ago. I always remember you can get, what, two Whoppers. Now it's like two for six, two for seven, something like that. Does anybody remember Whoppers back in 97? I specifically remember 1997. They were trying to really boost the Whopper out there again. Maybe they lost a lot of business at the time. Like, eh, hey, Burger King, eh, hey, you suck. They started doing Whoppers two for two. That went on for like a year or two, man. And at the time, this was before I met my first wife and all this kind of stuff, me and my buddies, my roommates, I had two roommates, we would all go to Burger King and all get our two for twos, you know, and woof it down. So, whatever happened to those good old days? Long gone are the days of cheap America. Brand new trucks are costing 300000 Paid for like about 470 in Rollins for fuel. Like this rate I'm getting, it's a thousand fifty miles over to Osceola, Osceola, however, however, however it's said. I don't even know. Osceola, it's a thousand fifty miles. I'm getting 3,500 flat for it. So just about 350 a mile. It got me out of Salt Lake at least. 
get me over to Iowa because then I know he's going to give me five to seven bucks a mile out of Iowa. But yeah, truck's doing good. I did my mileage this morning. I did a top off in Albuquerque. I did a thousand forty six miles and pumped 148.5 gallons of fuel came out to 7.00 miles per gallon so i'm getting seven since then i crawled over the hills through uh, laramie over to cheyenne and out here now and the dash has started saying 7.3 it was a 7.1 when i left rollins so 7.3 now so that's good i want to see that keep going up and then fill up to fill up so i'm going to top it all the way off yeah, I'll get my real miles per gallon per fill up so but today I'm doing the little experiment I got to set on 64 miles an hour and I'm not putting my foot on the throttle at all any hill I go up the automatic transmission really lugs it back puts it on coast mode and all this kind of stuff and it actually let me go down to like 50 55 miles an hour and then it really hesitates when it wants to get going again but I know it's just sluggish it keeps it in the sweet spot so you're not you know plugging it up hills and all that kind of stuff so this fill up I'm gonna be out here over to Iowa out here getting another load and going wherever hopefully heading back toward Texas I wouldn't mind taking a couple days off at this point I'm gonna be out just about a month now I mean I stopped by the house for one night but I wasn't even there 12 hours so yeah <clears throat> long enough to take a shower fall into bed hang out for a minute and I was out so go home take a few days off been out for a month so man that's about it though trucks running okay everything's cool oh 7.4 miles per gallon now well, this thing's going up quick start rating 7.3 when I was dropping in Cheyenne just gotta sit out here maintain this speed let the cruise control do its thing and obviously it's paying off See if I can hit eight. Get in the uh, eight mile per gallon club. So beautiful, Nebraska. This is where it's at. Things that dreams are made of. A good life, Nebraska. All right, we'll check back.